presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Lynn Chalmers, impatient at being forced to wait for word from Jungle Jim as to the fate of her father, tried to bribe her guardian, Kolo, to leave their hideout and look for Jim. But Kolo refused to disobey Jim's orders. Meanwhile, Jim allowed himself to be captured by Mamba and taken to the Batwoman. Despite his plea that she release the Reverend Chalmers and hold him instead, Shanghai Lil decided to keep both men prisoners, and Jim was turned over to Laba, who whipped Jim into unconsciousness and then threw him into the dungeon where the Reverend Chalmers was recovering from exposure to the sun. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Down in the cavern dungeon where they were being held prisoners, the Reverend Chalmers pulls Jungle Jim into as comfortable a position as possible and waits for him to regain his strength. Presently, Jim raises himself up. Feeling better now, Jim? Yes, thanks. I'll be all right now. But wait until I get a fair chance for that French Canuck. Jim, I've been waiting for you to recover sufficiently to tell me the details of Lynn's death. Lynn's death? Yes. Why, the last time I saw her, your daughter was safe and sound, Dr. Chalmers. Oh, praise God. You don't want to load you little from her mind and heart, Jim. I was sure I'd left her fatally wounded that night I was kidnapped. I know how you must have felt, Reverend. We felt the same way about you. And Lynn, of course, still does. I hope we can get to her soon and give her the good news of your safety. I hope so, too. Where is she? Kolo has her in a secluded spot not far from here. He will watch over her until he sees my signal that all is well. You see, Dr. Chalmers, I felt that to let this woman capture all of us would definitely ruin our chances not only to rescue you, but also to investigate this religious mystery. Quite right, Jim, quite right. I got the idea that if I were the only one seen advancing on this place, the Batwoman would think her men had killed Lynn and my boy, Kolu. Which she probably does, for she told me you were alone when they captured you. She knows Lynn's alive, Reverend. She does? Ah, I see it now. She wants to torture me with the thought that I'd really and truly lost my daughter if she wasn't with you. Mm, that sounds just like her. But I say, Jim, how does she know Lynn is alive? Oh, I try to bargain with her and happen to mention Lynn. Bargain with her? How? Well, you see, this bat woman is the same one I had a run-in with in Patrick O'Shaughnessy Flynn's cafe. I see. The day I beat up Laba for attacking that kid. I remember. So I kind of figured it. She wanted me bad enough, she'd release you to return to Lynn. You offered yourself as a hostage for me? Mm, you make it sound melodramatic, Reverend. I just try to make a trade. Jim, I, I don't know what to say. That was a splendid offer. But even if it had been successful, I couldn't have let you go through with it. Say, your place is with your daughter, no matter how we arrange it. Much as I value the companionship and safety of Lynn, I couldn't let you or anyone else sacrifice himself to that end. Well, let's forget that, shall we? It didn't work, so now we got to figure out something else. Yes. Yeah. What have you found out since you've been here, Reverend? And nothing much. They stripped me to the waist and spread eagled me in the sun. The devil. It was torture. My body is still so sore I can't even put on my shirt. But heaven won't let such deeds go unheeded or unpunished. And that reminds me, Reverend. I've got something of yours here. Something of mine? What is it, Jim? Your pocket-sized Old Testament. Oh! Kolu found it back on the trail, where the bush was all trampled down. Yes, that's where I fought Mamba for the possession of the gun. But I thought I'd lost this book for good. But here it is. Oh, thank you, Jim. Well, that's all right, sir. I should have known that it would turn up again. You know, Jim... This book has had a hard time down through the centuries. It's been hounded, scourged, thrown into prison, crucified, and crowned with thorns. But it has a miraculous way of surviving. Yes, sir. And if we live long enough, it will conquer the new voodoo cult that's been started up here. Amen to that, my boy. But for the present, I guess there's nothing we can do but make the best of our predicament. What is the Batwoman up to, Jim? I think I know, Reverend. You do? But I'd rather not say until I'm sure. While Jim and the Reverend Chalmers wonder what the Batwoman is up to, let's see for ourselves. Hey, Bob! What you want, bud? Come here! Mamba, is your canoe ready? Yes, sir, Missy. Waga ready. Here I am, boss. What you want? Have you seen any sign of the girl? No, boss. That girl, she no show up yet. She must be around here somewhere. Ruani told me he saw Jungle Jim and the girl and a native boy at the outpost. Maybe that Ruani lie, boss. No, he isn't lying. 
Uncle Jim told me himself the girl is still alive. Then why not make him tell us where she is bought? Not just yet, Lava. I don't want to give him a Chalmers the satisfaction of knowing I'm interested in this. Ah, you want smart fella, boss. When I told Jungle Jim there was a friend here who was anxious to see him, I meant you. But he thought I meant her. His face went white as a sheet. He loved that girl, Miss Pa. He said she doesn't mean a thing to him. Ha, ah, ha, he say, by God, when man in love with woman, he always say she don't mean nothing to him. Is that so? Well, I'll remember that. It may come in handy. May come handy? I bet you your life, you see that it come handy. Well, never mind about that, Labar. The point is, we've got to find Lynn Chalmers. May we, boss. Jacques Labar know that. I try my best for find her. Now, I want you to send the boys out to beat the bush and drive them out of their cover. We know they're this side of the outpost someplace. We, boss. They must be waiting to make a surprise attack on us. Or to get some kind of signal from Jungle Jim. I want to capture them without him knowing it. Hey, girl, you just leave everything to Jacques Labar. Now, look here. I'll let you get your revenge. But don't forget, Jungle Jim is my prisoner, not yours. I know, boss. You let me whip him. Merci bien. I wait long time for that. And then he go faint. Yeah, he call himself one big, strong man. You think he may be in love with Lynn Chalmers, you say? We oui, boss. She's the only white girl around here. Well, what does that make me? Oh, you, boss, you woman, the daughter of the missionary. She's only a girl. Oh, I see. And this adventurer could only be interested in a girl, is that it? No, boss, you no understand. You know your way around, like us fella. You hard, strong, like fella. You dress like us fella. These girls, she dress like girls, act like girls. She want cleaning vine, boss. I see. Well, maybe you're right, Labar. Sure, I'm right, boss. You find out when we catch that girl. Manda here is going to the next island to ask them to search for the girl, too. Help him get his canoe launched. Then come back here to the house. Okay, boss. Come on, Manda. We get the canoe into the water. Ah, here she is. All right, Mamba. Take that end. I take this end. We push in the water. Wait. Mamba say good while you go. Oh, first you make mumbo jumbo, eh? Yes. <coughs> Balo Mav, my ancestor. Come sit on Waga. Make Waga go fast. Kala bo sisiola, kala bom walela. Pa papa silibida. Mona gakadaba. Kutelasi onikota. Bukyo ova. Kumwam dabam si ai gana. Buku yova fly waga. Fly. Now, mamba ready. Okay, take that end, like I told you. Now, push! Goodbye, swan mamba. Goodbye, mamba. Over. Hey, better you come back with that girl, you black rascal. Don't do it, swan mamba. Lava got that mamba hop all right, boss. All right. And now I want boss. to... Boss! Oh, my God. Why, what's the matter? Where you get this dress? This dress? Oh. Well, a woman doesn't have to wear riding breeches all the time, does she? My God, I think you want beautiful fellow those breeches, boss. Jean-Baptiste, you something magnifique in those dress. <laughs> Like it, Lava? Boss, when you wear that, I no can call you boss. I must call you Lily. It makes that much difference, does it? Oui. All right, Lava. When I wear an outfit like this, you can call me Lily. Merci bien, Lily. And now I want you to bring Jungle Jim here to me. Sacrebleu, Lil. Or why? Never you mind about that. Just bring him here to me and leave us alone. He wants things of us, man, for to be left alone with you. You heard what I said. Okay. It is your funeral. Well, don't you worry about that. Just bring Jungle Jim here and leave us alone. Meanwhile, Kolo keeps guard over Lynn Chalmers in their hiding place. Kolo, there's been no signal from Kwan Jim yet. No, Missy. Something must have happened to him. Missy, no should worry. No good worry. Juan Jim make signal when he want Kolu come quick. 
How can you be so calm? Something's happened to him, I tell you. He must be sick. Or perhaps dead. Juan Jim, no fool. Him know how to take care of self. Him wait for chance, make signal. You see. I know, Kolu. But can't you understand? If something's happened to him, he won't be able to make the signal. Let's go and find out what's delaying him. Better we stay here, Missy. Is that all you can say? Better we stay here, Missy. You've said nothing else for hours. Juan Jim tell Kolu stay here. God, Missy. Kolu do like Juan Jim tell. Yes, I know. But Juan Jim didn't figure on anything happening to him, Kolu. He gave those orders as though everything would come out as he planned. Yes, he, Missy. If everything had gone right, we should have seen his signal before this. Maybe. There's no maybe about it. Maybe Juan Jim have hard time find that woman. Maybe lose way, take longer time. Foolish to follow. Missy and Kolu leave here. No could see signal. Kolu, wait here. Missy, wait here. I'll go mad with waiting. Isn't there something I can do to keep from worrying? Kolu, cut down brush to watch for enemy better. Missy, want help? Yes, I'll be glad to help. What do you want me to do? Take night, cut down brush. So. All right. You work here. Kolu, work over here. At that moment, back at the plantation house, Jungle Jim faces Shanghai Lil. You wanted to see me? Yes. Sit down. I prefer to stand. Hmm, just as you like. Well, what do you want of me? Is that handsome back of yours healed yet? Is that why you sent for me? To inquire after my back? Partly. My back's better, if it's of so much interest to you. What else do you want to know? Oh, there's nothing I want to know. I brought you here to tell you something. All right. That sounds more reasonable. Well, what have you to tell me? Is there any hurry? If there is, I want to spend it with my friend, Dr. Chalmers. Not with you, whoever you are. You don't mind speaking right out, do you? No. I never was much for palaver. I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. So it seems. Sit down. I said I prefer to stand. Well, I'm waiting to hear what you have to tell me. Very well. I'll tell you. You know by this time that I'm a dangerous woman. My word is law in this part of the country. Well? What I want, I take. You didn't bring me here to tell me that. Let's get to the point. All right. Jungle Jim, I want you to marry me. Well, the Batwoman with Jungle Jim and the Reverend Chalmers in her power as helpless prisoners should be able to enforce her demand. What misfortune has overtaken Lynn and Kolo? These exciting adventures of Jungle Jim are an exclusive feature of the Comic Weekly, the magazine of mystery, romance, thrills, and humor. The Comic Weekly is distributed everywhere with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. In it, you will find many of the most famous characters of the picture world, including the Katsunyama Kids, Toots and Casper, the Little King, Barney Google, and Flash Gordon. Also, some new color poster stamps to add to your present collection. Don't forget our date at the same time next week for a continuation of the thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs>